What's up, cool kids? I'm coming to you today with so one message and one message only. Believe the hype. You see what 2024 is about. You see what your dreams will cost you. You see the lingerings that are still here from 2023 that you need to get rid of. You see what locking in looks like in this season, not your last season, because shifts have taken place. You know what you're excited about and what you're looking forward to, but you also know where you've been. You know the pain, you know the disappointment, you know the hurt, and you have to push past that and believe the hype that this year will be different, that there's more in store, and that the next thing can be the thing that changes everything. Believe the hype. There's so much potential that this year holds, that this year has, that you hold, and that you have in this year, in this time, at this moment but what it will take for you to get the fullness of what that potential is trying to show you what your visions have what your vision board got on there the pinterest pins that you have going on everything is available and sometimes what happens is we don't believe our own hype now we're called to be humble and all of that we are called to not think too highly of ourselves people will try to knock you down if you they feel like you off base okay so that is a thing however there are also times when we don't believe the truth of what god has spoken about us when we don't believe the truth of what we really know is true about us because we feel like well if that's true why haven't i seen results there are times where because we haven't felt the hype for a long time we don't want to believe it because we're like well what if the hype disappears what if I get used to this moment? What if I get used to this feeling? What if I get used to this vibe? And then it slips right between my fingers. That's why I don't be typing in the stuff. I just want to keep it even keel. So that way, no matter if I'm up or down, I don't have no emotions toward anything. Let me tell you, that is a trap and a lie. And it keeps you from reaching your best. You have to believe the hype. When you believe the hype of an idea that you have, when you believe the hype of the potential of a season, that's how you're actually able to get to the more that you're trying to grasp. When you dumb it down, your body, your mind, your actions start to go in alignment with the dumbed down version of what you're thinking about. You actually don't strive for the highest order that you could be in. You don't talk to the people that could elevate you to the next level because you're not thinking about the next level. You're thinking about five levels down from that level because that's what's keeping your excitement at bay. That's what's not requiring you to walk in too much faith. So you're trying to keep it at the level that it's at right here. But when you believe the hype, when you tap in to like, okay, this actually is dope. <laughs> this could actually happen. I could actually rock with this. Other people could rock with it. And there is a new level of a place that I could go. When you get to that space, that is when you'll start to be like, okay, now we're cooking with gas. Now we're doing something. And that only happens when you believe the hype. If you don't tap in, then you'll be tied to an old version of you, but that version don't fit either. And that's when we start to feel lost. That's when we start to feel void of having anything to say. You gotta believe the hype and dive in that thing, okay? I recently thought about Andre 3000, who we got introduced to as a rapper. He acted, if you watch The Four Brothers, you know he's in that, and most rappers or musicians, they'll have a little stint where they do, not most, but some people tap into their cinema bag, their cinema era. And so we had that. And that is what we know him as. He has hype from others about how he's supposed to show up in the world. We need another album. We need this collab. We need this thing. Then there was something in his spirit. There was something when he looked in the mirror, when he was going to be creative, that was speaking to him. And he felt good about it. There was a hype that was starting to build within himself about the next level. And the next level, according to the hype that he believed, the hype that he tapped into, that he gave birth to, actually had nothing to do with rapping. This man is playing the flute, Ruta Toot Toot on the flute. That is not what anybody expected. That's not what the hype that was built around his name. When you hear the name Andre 3000, that's not what you think of. You think of 
Hey y'all, right? You think of International's Player Anthem. Like you think about these lyrics that he has rapped. This, I mean, ain't no lyrics on there. What happened when he dropped the new album, when he even announced that a new project was coming? I don't know, Andre, okay? But I believe that he had to believe the hype within himself before he told anybody what the project was going to be. Why did he have to do that? Because there was an expectation that was there before. There was a him that was present before. There was a way that he used his voice instruments before that he was shifting. He was gonna show up in a different way. And that way was exciting to him. It was authentic to what he felt at the time, how he wanted to express himself at the time. And in doing that, you have to believe that this is my best work. This is my best work for what I can create right now. And y'all are going to feel it. Whoever's supposed to feel it is going to feel it because I feel it. I believe the hype. Once he starts to shop around, you go on your press runs and you're talking about the upcoming project. You're sharing your feelings. What was your motivation behind it? What was the inspiration? How did you call certain things together? People can see the excitement and the hype then transfers. So I was hyped about your rap lyrics and now I'm hyped about the flu, okay? And that happens not because I, as a listener, am personally looking for the next flute artist I could add to my playlist. It's because you, as a flute artist, are selling the hype to me. You're showing the hype to me. You're displaying it. It's rating it. It's bouncing off of you. And so now I want to tap in simply off of mere curiosity if nothing else. And that led to the next piece. The next piece is he did a mini concert here in New York at this jazz club called The Blue Note. Dropped the tickets, he announced it. I saw it on Instagram. Tickets went up, it was sold out immediately. You can't, you couldn't get there if you wasn't there. With that happening, I'm sure it was very interesting because the hype that was built before this project, before this moment, before him sharing his creativity in this way, it was all for something that this is not. What the hype was, he didn't deliver on that. People want to rap and he ain't rap a lick. That's not what we got here. Hype was cultivated. That's the thing about hype. It can be cultivated. If you don't feel hype about something right now, if you don't feel, if you feel like you're the only one carrying the hype and other people don't have it, it can be cultivated. It can be transferred. It can be demonstrated. It can be displayed. It can be shown. And when you show people, you'll actually find that there are people that share the same interests as you. They're excited about the same thing as you. You just have to put the feelers out there to get the response back. There is somebody out there that the very thing that you're thinking about sharing, they think about it all the time. It keeps them up at night. The very thing that you're wondering if it's gonna land, if it's gonna connect, how tied people are to the old version of you, the hype that you've heard about what you create and how you do, the new hype, the hype that you feel, that small flame that you feel on the inside, it can be transferred, it can be cultivated, it can grow. For it to do that, you have to believe the hype. You gotta believe it. You have to believe it. You have to put in work in that direction. You have to talk with some conviction and some fire about what you're doing. And you have to communicate it in the right way at the right time with the right people. As you do it, doors will start to open and there are doors that I could only come. Some doors, you know some doors only open with hype. Once you have this moment, once you have a drought, if you will, he didn't release a project for years. Even his features are far few in between. He ain't just hopping on everybody's stuff. When I finally show up and you see Andre 3000 on anything, even that alone is hype. You wanna see what I'm doing if it was rap, if I'm painting all day, you wanna see what I'm up to because there has been hype. There's a consistency on how I deliver and what caliber of work I can deliver that makes people want to tap in even though I'm delivering something new. If you look at Apple, there's hype with that. Okay, we're innovators. When we show up and we have our presentation, we're showing you stuff that you have not seen 
before. My first iPod, I fell on the ground, okay? I was like, mama, thank you so much. I'm so happy. Like, I was so excited to have an iPod because I'm like, this is the future. Like, this is crazy. And this ain't my MP3 player, okay? Like, I can have movies on here, music videos. It's, this is crazy. And the next time they drop something, the next time they drop something, it just keeps going up and up. And they're constantly delivering something. And we're getting new colors. There's new sizes, camera quality going up. And Apple's trajectory, I'm building up hype. So when I drop the link on apple.com, you get your new watch. That's what they do. You have to believe in the hype. If I'm a creator of Apple, you can't tell me nothing about Samsung. I don't care. <laughs> the hype is over here with what we built about what we cultivate about how we show up. And there ain't nobody better that's doing it. If there is better, we're going to push ourselves to be better than that. The next rollout. That's what happened. We have to believe in our own hype, in our own potential, right, of what's to come. Sometimes the hype isn't that this is your best work. Sometimes it's like, I have fun creating this, that this is just where I am at the time and I like being in this space and I wanted to share that space with you. That's the hype at the moment, is that I'm a creator and I created something and I'm hype about it. That's it. Sometimes it doesn't have to be this, this earth shattering thing and it's gonna create a new wave and now all of us, is playing the flute because we saw you do it. Sometimes we're just excited to see that you're doing well and you're creating something and I'm hype about that. And when we don't believe the hype, we rob ourselves of having those moments with people. We rob ourselves of allowing them to feel connected to us simply off the fact that we're willing to be connected to. So our job at this moment, at this time, is to believe the hype. There is a hype attached to your name there's a hype attached to your voice there's a hype attached to you being a creative there's a hype attached to the work of your hands there's a hype attached to your friend group you can have one friend there's some hype there and it can be built you can have 50 friends there's hype there right there's so many personalities and people that you can connect with and y'all are building off of each other and you're going to the next space next space next space higher 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 when you believe the hype that small flame and you protect it. Think about somebody trying to light a cigarette. When you light a cigarette and it's wind blowing and you try to put your hand around that cigarette, you're like, I need to cultivate this flame, right? Because it's not super big. So if something blows, I don't know. People might not be messing with it. So I gotta protect the flame, but there is a flame here. There's possibility for that. And when you protect it, and then you hit that spark, you hit that, that pace, that stride, boom. The flame is able to be sustained without you needing to, to protect it anymore. That's when the hype is transferred, it takes off. In the beginning, if you don't have it, if you don't believe in the hype yourself, if you don't believe in the potential of what this year has, if you don't believe that, okay, if I do this new thing, It'll give me a new result. If you don't believe in that, it will be very hard for you to get what hype brings. Hype brings notoriety, a new bag, new connections, go to new countries, feel closer to God, feel more at one with yourself. It can guide you when you feel lost. Hype can change the trajectory of your life, but it happens by you believing in the mere fact that it is possible. And after you believe it's possible, you have to believe it's possible for you. Sometimes we create stuff, we say stuff, we believe when other people say stuff, but we take out the fact that the money maker, the magic maker is us in it, is God in it. But when we try to do things, but we take us out of it, eh, I don't know, it loses the sauce that it's supposed to have. So you eat a fried chicken, but we missing a ranch. Like I need the substance from these other ingredients to really make this thing pop off. You got the burger, but you're missing the fries. Like you want the enchilada and the empanada. You want the whole thing. That's what makes it a complete experience. When we don't believe the hype about ourselves, oh, we'll cut us out of it in a minute. I've had people follow me 
There's faceless Instagram pages, faceless TikTok pages, and there's nothing wrong with that. And some of those pages I follow, and it's like, yep, post a little scripture, I can repost it, post a little motivational, whatever. Like, you know, it's cool. But what I find takes people the furthest, what people connect with, is when they know the person, when they understand the story. Even with Apple, which is a tech company, and I want to use my phone. On the day to day, I don't think about Steve Jobs. However, me knowing his story, I can connect with the brand a little bit differently. When I'm just watching a show, that's a Raven, that's a Raven, great TV. But me knowing Raven Simone and her story and how she was a little girl in a Cosby show and it has moved on, now I feel a bit more connected to this program, to this creativity, because I understand the totality of what this is. But you have to believe the hype in order to do that. When new movies are released, baby, they're gonna do a press run. And they're showing you the ins, the outs, the ups and the downs. Behind the scenes of how it was created. Actors are talking about their character and how they feel. You're getting the fashion behind the characters and the fashion on the press run. You're able to see the creators and the production behind it. And like, yep, we have a diverse set of people behind the camera that are working on this. All of that pushes me to want to go see the movie that much more because I see the full story. They are creating a landscape where the hype is able to not just be felt, not just to be told, but to be cultivated in a way where I didn't create this movie at all. <laughs> I wasn't on set, I didn't have to memorize no lines, but now I am excited to buy my ticket. I'm excited to spend three hours of my time watching something because the hype was transferred to me. And that same thing is possible for the things that we want to create, for the very places that we are being sent and directed to go. There are people that they don't know that they about to get this work from you, but God has already prepped them to be prepared to receive it, to connect with you in that way, for them to want to not just get it one time, but they want to receive more. When Jordan Peele first released his first movie, I don't know who Jordan Peele was, like, what's T? And then I seen it and I'm like, oh, wow. So then when his next film came out, I'm hyped before I even see a trailer because I'm like, okay, your first one had me thinking, you had me on my toes. So let's see what you're going to be talking about next. It happens all over. You can look in any sphere or sector at different writers. They write one book, their next book, you're hyped for it. Different TV shows, season one was fire, you want to see season two. Anybody that's releasing us an album and you really resonated with the album, the next time they release the album, you're front and center. What is it? What are we talking about? Who's featured on it? That is how it works. Hype can be transferred. But for it to be transferred, it has to have a base. It has to have a start. And it starts with you. We hold the very hype that we're looking for. We have it. It is available right here and right now and you know it. There is something that you're excited about that keeps you up. When you are up, you thinking about it. You've put probably too much thought into it and that's dumbing down your feelings about it. It's making you not as excited. When you talk to people, your eyes shimmer. When you see other people on TikTok or whatever, and they kind of seem like they're in that space, you watching a video from beginning to end. And you don't do that for nobody. But when it comes to this, you can't get enough. That's the hype. That's what it is. That's what it feels like. Even when you're deterred, you can't shake it. Even when you haven't seen progress, you still want progress. Even when it ain't made you no money, okay, you still are thinking about other ways that you can continue to move forward. That's because there is hype there. It is alive and well. Maybe you thought the thing was dead and you're realizing right now that is not. <laughs> That's beautiful. Do you know that there are a couple people in this world who they don't have hype for anything. They are a hopeless people. Nothing gets them excited. Their eyes, there's no no thoughts <laughs> behind their eyes. They're just waking up and going to sleep. Waking up and going to sleep. They don't feel enthused about anything. 
And that is a very scary place to be. At moments, I have been there, weeks at a time, where I've just been like, I don't have no fervor, no zest for life. It's a horrible feeling. Most of the times when I've gotten there, it's because, not that there is a potential for hype, but I've refused to believe the hype that I felt within myself. And then I'll get confirmations from people and I don't wanna believe them either because they have to be wrong because it doesn't seem like the timing is right because I don't have enough money for hype right now. I don't have time to believe the hype and I believe hype in the wrong direction. I don't wanna believe the hype and be embarrassed when other people don't feel it too. And so what do we do? We pull back, we decide it's not worth it and it pulls us to this place where we feel like everybody has hype but me. Everybody has a thing but me. Everybody else is successful. They figured this whole life thing out and I'm sitting over here blinking, <laughs> trying to piece myself together. When in reality, if we're breathing, there's a height within us, there is a flame, but we have to believe not only that it's there, not only that it has potential, but that it's for us to feel, to fully experience, to dive into. And the fact of the matter is, the truth of the matter is, we won't be engulfed by it. I'm thinking about Moses. He was in disbelief that there is a bush that is on fire and it is not burning up, not engulfed. That is where we have to get to in our minds. That the hype, we can be fully in it and not be taken down by it. The hype is for our benefit, is to push us, and sometimes not even a push, but a safe guidance to the next era and phase of our lives and for the lives of the people that are around us. Our flame is supposed to take us somewhere. And I was on a prayer call the other day, actually on my YouTube channel, was thinking about Moses, then I thought about later on in his life, he had another encounter with God. And in that encounter, he was at the top of Mount Sinai, at the top of the mountain, he saw God face to face. And after his moment with God, he had a glow. He wants to go back to the people, they looking at him and they're like, we can't even look at you, like you're shining Right now, it's, it's overwhelming. That's the hype being transferred. His first encounter with God, the hype was on a bush. He got to see it, but it wasn't on him. He got to recognize that it was a thing, but it was just a belief standpoint. Later in his life, he believed so much that he kept going after spending time with God, kept going after him standing in his purpose. So much so that the hype was on him and it was able to be seen by other people. And that is what happens. Sometimes our hype starts simply with us. A lot of times, that's the, that's the point. It's our hype. It is our moment. It's our belief. It's our faith that's being built up. It's our relationship with Christ. So it starts internally. It starts in the privacy of your space. But what happens is as you stick at it, as your faith is built up, as you believe that it is for you, that is when a transformation for yourself and for others takes place. So the power tool for this week, believe it, you know what it is. If you think you don't, you know. It's not that deep. You know what it is. And it can be intimidating. It can leave you with more questions than answers. It can make you feel like you're off timing because this is supposed to happen later or should have happened already. Now, it seems odd. Even with the timing parameters, even with whoever you feel like is with you or not with you, whatever you feel like you need for the fire to grow, believe that it's there in the first place and that it is there for you and that it's there right now and that it is sent from God. That unlocks everything else and I believe that it will change our year. 2024 will be the best year of our lives. We have to believe the hype. I hope that this was helpful. I'm actually gonna say a quick prayer 
Father, I thank you so much for this moment, for this time, for this month, and another opportunity to commune with you. I thank you for the hype that you have built for yourself. And that we can believe in that, that you are you, that you don't lie, that you are the God of the heavens and the earth, that you reside in us simply by grace. We don't have to do anything to invite you in and we don't have to be a certain person in order for you to stay. You desire to commune with us at all times for the rest of time. And so because of that, there is a fire already within us. It's a holy fire that comes from you and it's able to grow as we believe in the you that dwells in us i thank you for our individuality and that it is not something that we have to have shame about it's not something that we have to try to fix quote unquote or to change to fit other people or to fit some type of mold but that you plus us equals exactly who we're supposed to be there are refinements that happen but even that is guided by your hand and so we thank you for that help us holy spirit to believe the hype about ourselves again that's given by god that we do it with humility that it is anchored in truth that it is from our salvation and our validation in god but that there is indeed a sureness that we are supposed to have about our mission about our passions and about what we have been charged to do and without that fire it will be impossible to please god and so we thank you that you light up our path, that you show us which direction to go, that we have fun along the way, and that our hype can be transferred to others that need it. We give you praise, glory, and honor. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Ah! I hope that this was helpful. It really helped me. And I'm like, all right, let's get it. It's February 1st. I see what this year is about. And I'm like, okay. Okay, I think I can get jiggy with this. I think I can tap all the way in and see where the hype takes me. There's some doors that hype is they're gonna be the thing that kicks the thing down. Like I won't even have to put up extra effort. It's that steady beat of my belief in me putting in the work that will create an irregular response down the line but i have to believe in order to even kickstart that process that is a challenge for myself and if you feel so couraged please join me i believe that it's going to just set off our year as always if you haven't already you can be sure to follow the kid on all the social platforms the links will be in the show notes and if you haven't already you can tap into your cool kid merch and profess the power that you have Remember to profess your power. There's power in prose. I love y'all. Bye.